Hello, everyone. Welcome to Real Talk with Reginald D. I'm your host, Reginald D. I'm so glad you could stop by and join me today. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the power of speaking things in existence over your life. Did you know that most human beings operate in 40% of their capacity? When you reach 40% of your capacity, your brain says that's enough. Now, the reality is there is 60% left inside of you. You have 60% more drive, 60% more power, 60% more grind, and 60% more life inside of you. That's why you can't quit when you try to achieve what you want out of life. Don't let challenges overwhelm you. You're only putting out 40%. You have to give your life that extra push in order to get what you want out of life. You got 60% more of greatness left inside of you. Do not sleep on your capacity. You are greater than you can ever imagine. You are built to achieve and conquer what you desire for your life. Now I need you to protect your capacity. Do not let small things or other people's problems and drama interfere in what you are trying to accomplish in your life. When you are in pursuit of what you desire, you are going to have to put out more than 40%. It's not going to be easy because you are not easy. The fact of the matter is that if you are crazy enough to go after what you desire for your life, then you are not easy. You are hard. You just got to keep having confidence in yourself. Check this out. Confidence pushes determination and determination chases your success. Every day you wake up and get out of bed, guess who's getting out of bed? Success. When you go to the bathroom and wash your face, guess whose face you're washing? You're washing the face of greatness. You got to believe that about your life. You got to lay down thinking this. You got to wake up thinking this. You got to take your life to the next level, man. You can't stay where you're at. Your life is not built to lose. It's built to gain. The only way you lose is that if you quit or throw in the towel when it comes to your life. That's your fault because your life wasn't meant to lose in the first place. You are so valuable. Your life is so valuable. Your life is so precious. What happens when you have something that's valuable and precious at the same time? You take care of it, right? You give it what it deserves. That's the same thing about your life. You got to give it what it deserves. It deserves to be happy. It deserves to get what you desire. I need you to understand this. You can't be soft in this game of life. Happiness is not going to be given to you. You got to take it. The thing that you desire for your life is not going to be given to you. You got to go for it and take it. Let me tell you this about me. The way I keep my happiness is by staying out of the way of other folks. I only talk to a couple of people each week in my leisure time. That's it. I've learned that people will drain you with petty stuff. I'm not going to sit on the phone and listen to somebody mope and cry about why their cake didn't turn out right when they tried to bake it. I'll tell them to bake another one and hang up on them. I'm not going down this long road about this cake. First of all, I don't even bake cakes. So you are not going to use me as your cake counselor. See, you have to quit letting people bring petty stuff into your life when you are pursuit of what you desire. It will take up too much valuable space in your life and in your mind. You have to set boundaries. People will adjust to your boundaries. I know a lot of people. I have a lot of friends, but we don't talk all the time. We go months without talking because they know me. I'm not chopping it up on the phone with people every day or every week. I'm always in pursuit of something for my life, and it takes up a lot of my time. I either give most of my time to my friends or give most of my time to my life. I chose to give it to my life. You should do the same thing. Give most of your time to your life and not other people's life. You would be amazed how your life would change when you do that. Now, don't feel like you're coming across stuck up or conceited because you're not. You're just being responsible for your life. You need to understand what it takes to keep you going, to keep you striving, and to keep you pushing towards the things that you desire for your life. Let me help you with this. The thing that's going to keep you going and keep you pushing towards your destiny, guess what? It's not your friends. It's you. You're the one that's capable of pulling this thing off and achieving what you desire for your life, not other people. It's your dream. It's your vision. It's your passion. It's your life. It's on you. 
you got to fire on up and go after it and make sure you make wise decisions. Wisdom helps us understand our responsibility. I was part of this outreach ministry at one point. So I was hanging out downtown and started kicking it with these homeless guys. So the next day I took them to church. The next thing I know, we got two carloads of homeless people going to church. The following week, we had to get the church van because now we got a van load of people coming to church every Sunday with us. Then we hooked up with some fellows at this halfway house. We started kicking it with them. Now we got a bus of folks coming to church every Sunday. We had this old bus that somebody donated to the church. Nobody never drove it. It was just parked on the other side of the church. So we had to work on the bus just to get it started so we can go pick up the people. So here we are on this bus with a lot of brokenhearted people people that felt like failures, and people that felt like they wasn't good enough. So one of the guys was talking to me and telling me that he didn't feel worthy of life. He felt like a failure. He felt like this is all his life had to offer him. And I said to him, guess what? You've been living in a bad dream all your life. This is not your reality. I said, the day you know who you really are and how powerful you are and how valuable you are, is the day your reality will start. What am I saying? The day you realize who you are and how powerful you are and how valuable you are, that's when your reality starts. Now, let me make a long story short. We kept on hanging out with these guys at this halfway house. This halfway house used to be a motel that shut down years ago. This organization was charging these guys $400 a week to stay there with no oven even in the rooms. So I began to talk with the guys and tell them that they can get their own apartment for the money that they are paying these people. We kept speaking life into these guys. The next thing I know, these guys were leaving left and right, going on their own and going back to their wives and their families. I can't tell you how many times somebody's wife has called me and thanked me for taking the time to help their husband. The people that ran the halfway house got mad because they were losing money because people were leaving and starting a better life for themselves. They ended up changing their Sunday morning meetings to the same time our church service started just to prevent us from coming to pick those guys up for church. I told my pastor about it, and he changed the church service time so we could pick them up and bring them to church. Guess what? That halfway house finally shut down because the people realized how valuable they were and left to pursue their life and their dreams. That's it. They just changed their way of thinking, man. Listen, when you change the way you think about yourself and the way you feel about yourself, that's when your life will change, man. Never put your life inside of a box. Your life is too big for that. Let it flourish. You are different. You are the minority. You are built different. The road wasn't paved for you. The path wasn't made for you. You have to make your own path. The majority needs the road paved and the path made. They can handle your life. The majority play it safe. They take the easy way out. You are a minority. You got the heart of a lion. You don't play it safe and don't take the easy way out. The minority goes after their reward. They know what it takes to get what they desire for their life. The minority don't give up until they win. The majority taps out all the time. The minority keeps pushing, keeps striving, and gets what they desire. They don't ask for permission. They take what they deserve. That's who you are. You just got to believe it. You are amazing. You are built different. You are meant to stand out. It's all about what you believe, man. Let me ask you a question. What are the two most powerful words in the English language? I am. I am of the most powerful words because what you put behind it is what you're going to become. If you say, I am a failure, I am less than, I am not worthy, then you will start thinking that way about yourself, and that's when you will start believing it, which is a lie. You got to tell yourself, I am great. I am a conqueror. I am powerful. I am an overcomer, and I am going to get what I desire for my life. Now, that's the truth about you, and you got this working for you also. God said to Moses, tell the people I am that I am. What does that mean? God is going to be whatever you need him to be in your life. You just have to be who you really are. 
let me leave you with this. In this game called life, you might as well win. You know, every day playing the game, every day, win. Don't accept losing. You got to win. Don't give up until you win. That's the only way, man. Thanks for tuning in with Real Talk with Reginald D. If you enjoyed the show, please share this episode with anybody you feel that needs to take this journey with us to become a better you. See you next time.